Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now you can see in front of us something that you might not recognise. If you follow the channel closely, you'll know that this is Infinite Arms. But we're very excited today to have a hands-on with it, with um, the game developer. We've got Chris Izaki, um, and your job title is? Uh, Chief Creative Officer. Thanks for having me, Andy. So on the, on the desk here, we've got the toys, we've got the tablet here. We're going to give a sort of whistle-stop tour of just how these things work, and then we'll come back and we'll look at, in more detail how the stats and all the different layers are added in. So, where should we start? Uh, well, let's just take a look at Ixion here. Uh, he's one of our finely crafted action figures that uh, seamlessly connect to the game. Uh, and one of the, the really cool things you can do with it, and he's, he's, he's just talking to the, any device right now, to this device, uh, seamlessly, without a wire, without a portal. And uh, you can take any of these weapons or armaments and just seamlessly and quickly connect it to uh, the action figure and it shows up right now. And that was instant. I thought it'd be a bit of a delay. Uh, yeah, no delay. You can imagine that the speed that, uh, that they're communicating and the instantaneous nature of it allows for a lot of gameplay implications and a lot of fun. Cool, so we've got some other weapons here. Is there another one you'd like to attach? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put the uh, halberd weapon on real quickly. There you go. And uh, away you go. It's in the game and he's ready to go. So we've got our equipped Ixion. Should we get into a battle? Sure, we'll jump right into the game uh, with the weapons that we just equipped. Uh, right now we're just going to jump into the campaign mode. Um, and you can play uh, to your heart's delight with any of the weapons that you've equipped uh, and any of the characters that you have. Um, this is uh, your kind of your, your standard story mode. You can play uh, by yourself or with some friends. Uh, take on some enemies and um, and some bosses as well, and uh, get some experience points and loot and, and just have some fun. You can see I'm using the the weapons that uh, I've equipped. Uh, that was the um, I'm gonna shoot the, the shotgun and then I'll use my, my halberd on this guy. Jumps in there and slices him to bits. And there you go. So you got a couple of spare weapon slots there. So if you if we attached other other toys to the back of Ixion, we'd have something else there. Uh, that's right. So all of the action figures have four slots to uh, to customize them with. Uh, two for the arms, and you can see here two in the back. I, I haven't actually equipped anything for them, and that's why these two slots here uh, above my, my right thumb, um, they appear empty. Uh, but if you have some some awesome back weapons, yeah, they'll, they'll show up and you can use them in the game. And this circle in the middle, that, is that some sort of special attack? Uh, yeah, so every action figure and every character that we have has a special attack, and that charges up over time. Um, and I'll, I'll just demonstrate what happens. Uh, th this one has a, is a really cool kind of stampede um, area effect attack. Uh, gives a lot of damage to enemies once um, you can unleash it. Nice, I mean, the game looks amazing. I, you know, tablet games, you sort of imagine it's not going to be quite up to like a console look and feel, but it sort of triggers thoughts of Gears of War and Halo and, and also the sort of Transformers robots. Uh, absolutely. We, we wanted to make a game that, um, uh, that appeals to, to all game, gamers of all ages, but um, the sophistication of a, a modern console shooter um, and uh, also the, the sophistication of, a, say, a Transformer toy. Uh, and so we built um, a, a great team that has the talent uh, that have built a lot of those type of games. And there you go. Stage clear. And so then you get a reward to you finishing that. Uh, yeah, um, you can see some of the, the cool loot that you get for clearing every stage and defeating enemies. Um, you'll get things that level your character up and make your, uh, your weapons more powerful and, and uh, more customized. Great, so when we go back another time we'll talk more in detail about the weapons because you can upgrade those as you said. There's lots of layers. Um, and you know, look at how they attach and the different sort of combinations you can do. But for now I think that's a really nice introduction, so thanks a lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm.